Hi, this is Ron F. from Gear Sluts, as you all know me, steering up my uh, Prophet 6 from Sequential Circuits and uh, Dave Smith. And I wanted to show a example of what I referred to in uh, a recent post and also utilized in a recent um, soundtrack demo as a happy accident. And one of the things that makes this particular synth, the P6, incredible uh, as compared to any other DSi synth is the extensive digital effects section that it has uh, makes it capable of doing things that no other DSi synth has had the ability to do up till now. And um, of course the nature of happy accidents and some of the strange tones that I've been able to get is um, that they are accidents. They, they are not predictable. I may or may not get anything uh, exactly like or even, even decent in this video, but I'm gonna give it a try. So what you see is that I have uh, the synth in non-preset mode, uh, and uh, meaning that every knob responds exactly as you see it. Uh, there's no preset operating right now. And um, I've got uh, effects chain, if you will. There's only two effects, but it's a chain of two. Uh, I've got phaser one in front in the A slot, bucket brigade uh, delay in the B slot. Uh, the bucket brigade delay, I've got the mix turned up about medium, as you could just see that. I kind of went away rather quick, but about, about medium. And uh, I've got the phaser turned way up. Uh, and then again, we're looking at B here. So the uh, feedback in particular on the bucket brigade is up high. Delay time uh, set kind of in the middle. And um, let's see what else we got going on. I've got currently the frequency of oscillator two through the poly mod uh, indicating an effect on the frequency of oscillator one, its shape, its pulse, pulse width, couldn't say that word, pulse width. And uh, let's see, lastly here, I've got a little bit of slow frequency LFO attacking the low pass filter, which is of course adjusted by the mod wheel. So let's take a look at uh, just a sound or two. Um, now what I like to do when I'm doing this is record everything that I'm doing so that later on I can go back, just basically I'm sampling my output just into my DAW. I can go back and utilize it. I might even put the synth in hold mode, um, if for no other reason, because I'm holding the camera right now, and try this.
And just some last notes after hearing some very strange sounds is that um, I would have sampled all of that into a DAW, of course I didn't just do that, but I would have also um, run the output of that through some pretty stiff compression and really brought up some of the hidden undertones uh, that uh, I, I guess level out the dynamics of what we're hearing there. Obviously a lot of high frequency content and in some cases I even heard some low frequency content um, even rumbling uh, my speakers in the room uh, are overshadowing or taking out the mid frequency or, or just undertones that are there and some of those are spectacular. Um, what you can see is that there's multiple ways to uh, modulate the pitch or the frequency whether that was through using the frequency itself, using the filter, using the delay time, that's a big one right there. And what made it interesting is we already had a somewhat metallic or phase sound, uh, which is at a, I think if we look at the phaser, you'll see that I've got it set at a pretty low uh, frequency rate, although a high mix and um, at a high depth is what I really meant to say. And uh, all of that serves to get some interesting input of course, all analog input, all uh, very thick and creamy sounding, but uh, that input is going into those effects, into that effects chain and giving you an opportunity while it's still feedbacking, diffusing in the bucket brigade delay stream to modulate uh, in real time a number of different settings. And then again, what I would have done outboard is compress that and see what I heard because it'll it'll enhance or bring out some of the interesting aspects of some of the tones that you just heard. Um, that's exactly how I got a variety of just I, I call I call them events or hits, uh, blooms that um, I just it, it was just the best or, or snippets that I took out of a session just like this one and uh, sampled them. You obviously, trim them, comp them and uh, then utilize them as a sample inside of the master soundtrack, uh, multi-track piece in Logic. And um, that's an example of how to use the synth uh, for happy accidents. Oh, by the way, one other thing I had discussed was if you were, for example, to use the synth in hold mode, using the volume pot itself, Is another interesting way to modulate the overall sound um, and that can help in particular if you have uh, right now I'm using bucket brigade delay but if you're using a reverb just take that hold off if you're using a reverb uh, with a long decay time that is a very interesting way to uh, sort of put an envelope on the decay just using it manually um, I'm not suggesting that you make the synth go quiet, but but actually just modulate a slope, if you will, in the decay of the delay can be very interesting, cause a really nice reverb bloom. And um, all right, so that's my thoughts in this regard. Eight minutes of uh, noodlings, if you will. Hope it's interesting. Thank you very much.